Have you ever seen a maize plant? It is an example of a monocot plant. The leaves of this monocot plant differ from the leaves of a dicot plant. Let's study the features of the monocot leaf of a maize plant and how they differ from the leaf of a dicot plant. This topic explains the anatomy of the maize leaf. In a kitchen garden, we can see a maize plant. The main stem of the plant is referred to as the culm. If we observe the leaves of the maize plant, we see that they are isobilateral leaves and show a parallel type of venation. If we look at a section of such a leaf, we observe equal numbers of stomata on both the upper and lower epidermis. Proceeding from the top to the lower portion of the leaf, we see that both the upper portion and the lower portion of the leaf are covered by a cuticle. The primary purpose of the cuticle is to reduce water loss through transpiration. The upper layer of cells is referred to as the upper epidermis. Its function is to provide protection. The bulk of the cells between the upper and lower epidermis is referred to as the mesophyll cells. These cells are relatively irregular in shape and are the site of maximum photosynthetic activity in the leaf. In the central portion of the leaf section are situated the vascular bundles. The vascular bundles are surrounded by a layer of cells called the sheath cells. The sheath cells primarily function to provide rigidity and protection to the enclosed vascular tissues. The large elements located in the vascular bundle are referred to as the xylem vessels. Xylem vessels function in the transport of both water and mineral nutrients. The smaller cells located in the vascular bundles constitute the phloem. The phloem functions largely to translocate the prepared food. Located exterior to the vascular bundles are several cells called sclerenchyma fibers. The sclerenchyma fibers function primarily in providing support to the vascular bundle and the leaf. These cells are very rigid. The stomata are the small pores located in the upper and lower epidermal layers of the leaf. They allow the passage of gases in and out of the airspace located just below the stomata. So, the characteristics of a maize leaf, which is a monocot leaf, as compared to a dicot leaf are the leaf of maize is isobilateral, that is vertical, while in the leaf in dicot is dorsiventral, that is horizontal. In monocots, the mesophyll has a uniform spongy parenchyma, while in dicot, the mesophyll has palisade and spongy parenchyma. The sectional view of the monocot leaf shows an equal number of stomata on both the epidermis, while the dicot leaf section shows a greater number of stomata on the lower epidermis. To summarize, the characteristics of a maize leaf or a monocot leaf are the monocot leaf is isobilateral or vertical. In monocots, the mesophyll has a uniform spongy parenchyma. The sectional view of a monocot leaf shows an equal number of stomata on both the epidermis. A plant's roots, stem and leaves develop for the growth of the plant. However, have you heard of secondary growth in plants? Well, to know more, keep exploring. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.